hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i am going to showcase how you can ingest logs to log analytics workspace through apis by using postman and powershell now if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video i have already shown how to create a custom table in log analytics workspace and i'm going to use the same table to get data ingested through apis and in this video i will show you how you can interact with azure rest apis which are specifically related to dcr and let's say data ingestion however there is a dedicated video available on the channel already which is more over guiding how you should interact with azure rest apis okay perfect so the very first thing that we need for custom data ingestion is an application Azure AD application which is having this permission on the DCR which we have created while the custom table is getting created so the permission name is monitoring matrix publisher so when you create a custom table uh, a DCR is also created and you have to create an Azure AD application and grant this permission to that particular DCR so let me switch back to my browser quickly and then I'll show you how this is done okay so this is my browser I'm signed in to portal.azure.com and now I'm going to click on Microsoft Entra ID and then I'm going to click on this option which says app registration now here I'm going to register a new app and let's say data ingestion and uh, hyphen core okay just to follow the same naming convention and here i will say web application and here i will give it local host that's it and i have to click on register now what we need from this particular application is the client id and the client secret okay so now let me launch the postman console as well as you can see i have created a new untitled request it's an http request and now i'm going to click on authorization and here i'm going to select this option which says oauth 2.0 okay and these are the details that i have to fill in and as we go along i'll show you how you can get all this data from azure ready portal itself okay now here it says token as blank because we have not requested any token but the moment you select the here let's say okay here OAuth 2.0 and we'll scroll down make sure in the grant type you have selected this option of client credential okay now where it says access token URL just click on this option on the portal which says endpoint so right now I am still inside the application object and now i'm going to click on this option which says endpoint and here i'm going to copy this particular link and i will paste it in my postman and now here i have to give the client id okay and here i will give client secret you can select any option here and then i'll click on copy and i'll paste it here and then it's in the scope make sure you mention this as the scope which is monitor.azure.com forward slash dot default and that's it now the next thing that i have to do is assign this application a permission which is required for a data ingestion okay so for that what you have to do is you have to navigate to data collection rule and then select the data collection rule which you have created so for example in my last video if you guys remember this was the data collection rule that we have created in the last video okay now I'll click on this option of access control IAM. I'll click on add and I'll click on role assignment. 
and then here I'm going to select this option of monitoring metrics publisher and then I'm going to click on next okay here I'm going to click on select member and here I'm going to type my application name which is data ingestion hyphen core I'll select I'll click on next and I will assign this role now once this assignment is done then you can request token generate endpoint URI and start sending data okay but let's just understand how exactly data ingestion will happen so the very first aspect is the application has to generate a JSON formatted data send a post request to data collection endpoint URI from there the data collection rule will route the data to the respective table of your log analytics workspace and at the end you can use this data to perform your queries writing analytical rules and whatnot now this is something which i have shown in my last video as well however i'll cover this quickly which is moreover related to generation of endpoint uri for dce itself so the very first thing that you need is data collection endpoint uri and specifically the log ingestion endpoint okay so i'll close this and i'll select now data collection endpoint and then i'll collect select the one which we have created in our last video i'll click on this option of json view and i will copy the log ingestion endpoint and i'll paste it here i'll remove this this and i will also remove this now i have to type data collection rules and then i have to type the immutable id of data collection rule so again this was the one which we have created in our last video and as you can see i can copy immutable id from here and I'll paste it here. Then I have to type streams and the actual stream name, which will be this one. Okay. Custom and then the name of the table. Okay. Copy this. And here I will say API hyphen version equal to 2023 hyphen zero one hyphen zero one that's it my endpoint uri is ready now i have to send a post method to this particular endpoint uri with the data itself so here i will change it to post and here i have to get the data okay so for that i'll go back to my machine okay if you guys remember this was the data uh, which we were sending in our last video as well so i'll just copy this data which is json formatted with the time generated uh, field and then i'll come back to my postman and i'll paste that data here okay so this is the endpoint uri where i have to send the request a post method with my data and i need a token so let's just request a token first and i'll click on proceed so I've received a token and I'll click on use token and then I will click on send. Now, usually it happens real time. Okay. That the moment you grant permission and everything uh, is in place. However, let's say if you're getting error on this particular console, then just wait for 10, 15 minutes and then try sending the data. Okay. Now, let me come back to my Microsoft Sentinel console. You can choose either ways. You can either navigate to log analytics workspace or you can navigate to this particular section of your Sentinel and you can go ahead and check the data. So as of now, what I have done is I have written this query and I'm saying that only show me the data which has been generated in last 15 minutes. And as you can see, it is not showing me any data. However, if I remove this, okay, and click on run, it's showing me the data which we have ingested in our last video, okay? 
so now let's again apply the same filter and click on run okay click on run okay it's not showing any data here so let's just wait for two three minutes and right now it's 6 14 pm so i'll just wait for two three minutes and then the moment i'll see data here i'll resume the video and uh, what we can also do is we can send multiple requests here so that we can see a lot of data in last 15 minutes okay so let me just click on run again okay let's just wait for two minutes okay so there is one aspect uh, practically speaking that i just forgot and that is the time that we have defined in our data so it's uh, not let's say something that will show up in last 15 minutes because this field that we have it's everything beyond 24 hours so if you guys remember when i was showing you the results previously it was showing around 192 entries if you want you can go back in the video and verify however now you can see it shows me 384 entries okay so it fundamentally means the data ingestion is happening and what i can also do is now i can actually change this date to 21 so that i can show you the real time data let's see replace all okay let me select this and now let me just okay it's creating issues no issues so replace all microsoft cannot find a match but it is there anyways let's try one more time yes perfect so now i'll use this data i'll run this i have copied this and i'll come back to my postman and i will change the body and i will send this why it is still showing me the older date okay save query the data verify if the date is 21 perfect now copy this new data come back to postman 21 send multiple requests one two three four i've sent four requests and now let's see if i can get the data by applying a filter with time generated should not be more than let's say four hours okay and let's see if you get any results perfect you can see the new data is also coming now okay so this is the process of handling this data ingestion through postman okay similarly you can also do it through powershell and let me show you that there is a script which is already available in microsoft documentation and let me just quickly show you that article as well and i will be sharing this in the chat so that you can go ahead sorry in the description so that you can go ahead and review this so this is what i have copied and i'm just showing it how you can use this particular script to send the data okay so it basically needs all the same components which we have been customizing so let's get started here it is asking me tenant id i will delete this i will go to my azure portal i will search for microsoft entra id and here i will copy my tenant id and i will give it here 
now here it is asking me for my app id i'll come back to my postman i'll copy the client id from here and i'll paste it here and then it is asking me the client secret i will remove this and i'll again come back to my postman console i'll copy this and i will paste that information here now it is asking me the endpoint uri which is basically log ingestion uri of your dcr okay so let me copy the one which we have just created which will be basically this particular section only the log ingestion endpoint okay so if you guys remember this is the endpoint then this is data collection rule dcr good and then stream so i need this particular section i'll copy this here paste that value now it's asking me for dcr immutable id i'll copy this field here and then it's also asking me the stream name okay so the stream name was this one okay i'll copy this and i'll paste it here now practically speaking you don't have to make any change here because you can see it's from line number four it's taking tenant id and again it's generating the same endpoint which i have shown you already okay now the only change uh, that you have to do is you have to remove this line you don't need this line because it's actually adding the value here in the log itself which is being sent so just remove this and instead just copy this option uh, this command which says convert to hyphen json okay let me just run this and let me say data here perfect all you need is the data in json format that's it so you can copy this and i'll come back here and here where it says static data okay i'm going to remove this section and i'm going to type my variable name which is data and i will copy this command and i will paste it here that's all so now if i'll click on send it should ingest my data perfect you can see data ingestion is happening it will not show any response if the data is ingested it will not show you any response that's the case with postman as well however just to verify let me go to my azure portal once and here it is so as of now it's around 155 the last instance that we have initiated and you can see it is showing me 186 which means from here the data ingestion is happening if i'll do it again and i'll come back to my portal and i'll click on run it's 217 which means the data ingestion is happening through PowerShell script as well. So now I think we have covered almost every aspect related to data ingestion, uh, be it Windows, Linux, EEF, custom data ingestion. And in this video, I have specifically shown you how to ingest data from Postman and PowerShell. From next video, I'm going to get started with analytical rules in Sentinel. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.